Hi, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how we can use fetch and Axios library to send a get and post request to a server. Uh, in order to check the functionality, uh, I have chosen this coin API which returns uh, uh, the order book or the uh, if we go to the rest API, we can see it returns the exchange rate, the metadata, the order book or trades and in order to use this we need to get a free api key so if you put your email address you will get a free api key in your uh, email account and then you can use that uh, free api key to send the request uh, to send the get request to this api and uh, in order to send the post request uh, i have created this uh, uh, simple backend server i have taken this code from my previous login metamask video and that's why you are seeing the comment here so uh, it's a basic server which takes the post request it's console.log request.body all the data we are going to send in this post request and it's going to send the response back to uh, our index.js file as json.stringify object so let's start writing the code uh, so before writing we have installed these dependencies express body parser and axios for the fetch it's a built-in javascript command so we can use it without importing any library so let's let's go to uh, index.js and say const axios is equals to require we first need to import the library then we are going to define four functions axios get axios post fetch get and fetch post async function axios get so it's a function and i'm going to copy and paste it three more time and it's axios post fetch get and fetch post so for this axios get uh, first of all we need our api key i have already uh, got my api key in the email so i'm just going to create a header and in this header we are going to attach the api key so i'm just going to copy and paste it here uh, from my email address and once i have defined the header we can simply create a get request and we are going to send this request obviously to a server so this is the coin api server and uh, here uh, it's an exchange rate server where we are going to get the price of ethereum compared to usdt and we are going to add header as an authorization token so when it receives this request and first it will check the header if the api key is good then it's going to send us the response and since it returns a promise we are going to say dot then response and we are going to say console.log response dot data so the data we are getting back from the server we are going to console dot we are going to print it and then we are going to catch error console dot error error <clears throat> so our uh, get request is almost ready so let's write axios get so it's going to run this uh, piece of code and let's write the fetch too so first of all we are going to define a variable const response is equals to await fetch we are going to use the same address here the api server address and at the same time we are going to define the method as so this is the basic syntax of using fetch request we are going to put headers just like before and we are going to copy and paste this api key here 
uh, and uh, we don't have any data so our response is ready so let's wait for the answer let answer is equals to await response.json so once we have created a request and send it to this api server we are going to get back a response and we are going to convert this response to json object and then we are going to say console.log answer so our two functions are ready so let's test the functionality so here we can say fetch get we are going to run this function so let's say node index.js okay you did not have api key okay so i think there is a problem with our api key so let's see what is the problem uh, um, oh it's headers not header so let's go headers so you see we have this uh, so let's make it btc fetch get uh, yeah i think so we are getting the price of ethereum but we are not getting the price of btc so what what are we making an error um, headers okay await response.json yeah and console.log so we are going to this something i think we are missing something xcoin api headers i think it's the same api key we are getting mm -hmm. oh this is the problem it's fetch post instead of fetch get so let's do this again so here you can see this is the price of ethereum and this is the price of btc so sometimes you make like silly errors in programming but that's okay uh, i'm sorry for this silly error uh, i'm not going to edit this video i'm just going to paste it as it is so here we have created two get request uh, this is the post request sorry this is the get request from axios and this is the get request from fetch get and we are getting this uh, this response back from the server the price of ethereum price of uh, btc so let's write our uh, post request so in order to uh, write a post request we we want to post some data to the server so let's define some data first we can say name is harry and age is 30 once we have the data we can use the same but instead of get we can say po exus dot post and let's run our server let's say node app.js so this server is started on port 3000 but on local host so here what's what will be the link it's http localhost 3000 slash login so if you go to app.js this is the post request and this is the root login so we are using this route here and um, okay we are and then we need to post the data and then we are going to say it's going to return a promise then we are going to copy and paste the same thing and then we are going to copy and paste the same thing as catch so this our axios post is ready we can do this and finally in order to write our um, fetch get requ uh, fetch post request we can simply copy everything from here and we can post it here but instead of get we can say it's post 
instead of this API key because we have not defined any function in our backend server which is going to process this API key. So let's not do anything here with the API key because this is a simple tutorial of how we can use fetch and axios. So in the header we can write content type and we can say it's application slash json and here obviously we are going to send some data so we can say json dot stringify data and this is the body uh, what's the problem here okay so it's a comma I'm missing a comma here and once our response is ready we are going to send it to okay so it's not this it's localhost login I was going to make a great mistake again but I got it so once we send this request with a post method and we are going to send the data okay so we are going to send the data but we have not defined our data okay so we can define the name as let's say Mike and age as 25 so let's see so we are going to send this data append it to this fetch request as a post method and once we get our answer we are going to uh, uh, convert this promise into json and then we are going to console.log answer so let's go here and say node index.js so yeah so if you see we have our name uh, harry and age 30 but we are not getting anything from this like myco25 because we have not run this function here these are a lot of mistakes so let's run this again so if you see uh, when uh, when we are making this post request from fetch and axios it's going to this link to the login and it's it's console.log request.body so if we go here it's also doing console.log and it's sending the response.json back as a json object and it's the same request.body which we send here so we are seeing the same response which we sent and um, it is echoed from our server back to our front end so that's how you can use axios and fetch request in node.js to get or post the data from and to the server and you can also use other type of requests like delete or update or put but like um, I just wanted to show how you can use it and it's a basic tutorial so maybe in future we are going we are going to create an API where we can in incorporate all these types of requests so thank you that's it uh, thank you very much for uh, subscribing to my channel watching my videos and supporting me so take care bye bye